We're here with Heidi Vanderveer, head coach of the UC San Diego women's basketball team. To her left, Sydney Sharp, and to her right, Tyla Turner after a semifinal win over Stanislaus State. First coach, just an opening statement about today's game. I thought today's game was a, a great test for our team. Uh, you know, credit Stanislaus State, they've been playing very well. Our women does a great job with this team. Um, but really, it, I think our team uh, showed a lot of resiliency, a lot of poise, uh, and really a lot of competitive fire. So I'm very excited about the progress our team made, not just throughout the season, but in this uh, specific game. The resiliency was really seen during that fourth quarter where the game was tied at 49 and you guys ended up just going on a great run. Sydney, talk a little bit about that. You were key to that for sure. Um, well, we came out and we had a very slow third quarter and we knew that. So I feel like starting the fourth, we just knew we had to get out of our heads and um, really come out with a lot of fire. And I feel like we did that and we focused on our defense and our defense carried our offense. And then it was just kind of rolling from there. And Sydney mentioned the third being slow. Tyler, what what was going on out there in that third quarter? Um, what was going on was we was like, oh my goodness, turnover after turnover after turnover. We was not making shots, and it was just like a domino effect going on. And then we was like, okay, now we have to come together and know that adversity is hitting right now, and let's do it together. And that's all we did. How do you keep a team confident when they when they kind of go through those struggles, Coach? They use the word slow. I said grinding halt. Um, you know, let's be clear. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I just think that they, we've got a lot of winners on our team. I mean, obviously, uh, Sid's been in big games, and, and, and so is Tyler. So I think that the, the big game experience and understanding that um, you know, you're really not going to win it or lose it in a quarter. Um, just I feel like the, the, the turning point came when, when we probably they hobbled themselves up and, and just had that look of saying that, you know, the five of us together can get whatever it is done, and they did. And so to their credit, uh, we got winners on our team, we've got uh, young women that, that compete, and uh, they know what's at stake. So uh, credit, to, credit to them. Tyla, only two other players have two triple doubles this season. Can you just talk about what that accomplishment means for you? Um, it's not more of an accomplishment for me, I say. I would say it would be more for my team, because without that, we wouldn't be where we're at. And I do what I do for my team, and that's easy. I don't know. <laughs> Sydney, 21 points is a season high for you tonight. Can you talk about the night that you had as a whole? Um, as a whole, start of the game very rough shooting-wise. Um, everyone on my team um, just encouraged me to continue to shoot. Um, I just try to pick up in other ways defensively, um, getting to the rim, just helping each other out, um, and I just kind of came back. So. I think Sid has the mentality of a shooter's mentality, which is when you're on, shoot, when you're off, shoot until you're on. He's got that good <laughs> mentality. And, uh, and, and it's, it, it is pervasive on our team as well. And we get a lot of confidence from Tyla and from Jay and from Bree. Uh, and, and that's why we're sitting here as uh, winners, especially after our third quarter. So. Coach, does having that struggle and having to fight through the adversity, does that help with uh, moving forward in the tournament? Oh, or? Most definitely. Again, I think that we have players that have played in big games and they've experienced, you know, really good highs and, and also, you know, really challenging losses. And I feel like that when we are playing uh, not only with each other, which I feel like most teams do, but we're playing for each other, that we can weather that adversity because we don't have people pointing fingers or, you know, we make mistakes and, and no one says, well, you know, that's your turnover. They just, they just say, hey, let's get, let's get a stop. Or if they get scored on, you know, they don't say, well, you're supposed to rotate, rotate or you didn't box out. They say, hey, let's get it back on the other end of the floor. And, and I feel like that's where our biggest growth has come this season is just, you know, being able to play in the moment and, and handle that adversity because we're going to face it tomorrow. We're going to face it tomorrow and then, you know, and then in the NCAA tournament, we're going to face it. And I think that the more experience you have it, having uh, to be resilient, the, the better off uh, our team is, for sure. And what is the attitude like in the locker room after a, a – or not in the locker room, but just in the huddle uh, after a struggle? What, what is the feeling like? Our uh, attitude is more so like we got to get it back. You lock up your man, you lock up your man, you get rebounds, you do, you do what you got to do. We handle our own business, and then it comes together as a unit, and that's what we do. This is your fourth straight uh, finals appearance, and you're you're the defending champion. So, talk about that swagger going in as the defending champions. Um, 
I feel like we don't really have that much swagger. Um, well, I try not to have much swagger. This is my fourth parent, so um, just coming in, taking it game by game, um, play by play, and just giving it my all. And Tyla, talk about playing in the championship this year. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, it's great, especially with these girls. Ooh, I'm excited about it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming very much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck tomorrow.